I'm so thankful to have my, my friend Jeremy here with us. Yeah. Tim, uh, he asked me about, that was the last war show, if I had testimony that I wanted to, wanted to give, and, and I, uh, I said, well, I'll see. And just didn't feel like I had one. And uh, I told Jennifer when we got home from the hospital, I probably should have testified. It had been a lot easier. <laughs> yeah, God gave you one, didn't he? <laughs> he gave me one. Uh, it's uh, been a humbling experience, if nothing else. But, uh, you know, when I don't know who all knows the details and, uh, and what not, uh, and the exact details ain't that important. Um, most, imp most important thing that, that, uh, that just still amazes me is not so much how God spared me through it, but the, the peace that I had. Um, as, uh, as I was laying there and waiting on EMS to get there, um, as we, I was peeing for quite a while, um, I was hearing people saying that, you know, he, he's not going to make it, he's, he's going to bleed out and, and all these things. And I called my wife and, and uh, I told her that, you know, that I'd been in a bad accident and I wanted her to know that I loved her. And that, uh, you know, her and the kids are going to be all right because the Lord's going to take care of her. And and I called my oldest daughter uh, and told her pretty much the same thing and called my mom. And I, I called Brother Tim and, and I wanted him to pray. The most important thing to me was that he, he promised me he'd take care of my family. And uh, it's nothing that, I, that I'd done in that split moment. And, and, and honestly, there's nothing that I'd done that caused this to happen. I mean, it, it wasn't anything. It was out of my control. And it happened before I, even, I could even see it coming. Life can change that fast. It can be everything's just fine. Can't wait to get back home to I don't know that I'll ever get home. Just like that. Uh, my wife, she got to the med serum before the ambulance ever come and got me. And uh, we went back and we looked and, and the times sort of made sense because once I got in the ambulance, <coughs> This peace come over me like, like it was no other. And the song come to my mind, and I'm no singer by no means, but the song come to my mind, I'm a winner either way. Uh, and I just had a peace, and that's the first time in my life, and, and I've been in church all my life, it's the first time in my life that I could actually feel people praying. And, and, and I could feel God, God right there in the midst. You know, when things is happening and when I was stuck uh, on that spear and, and crushed between the tractor and the, the, I honestly can't say that the spirit of the Lord, I couldn't feel it. The only thing I could feel was pain. But I know he was there. Uh, the doctors and surgeons have sent, said since that I shouldn't have made it by no means and uh, that if I had, should have really had a lot of injuries. Uh, they told us that surgery had last a good six hours, uh, and end up lasting 35 minutes. Tell me people wasn't praying. They, uh, they said that I'd have a lot of infection. I've yet to run a fever. Amen. Tell me people wasn't praying. Uh, it was a two-inch round spear went in the left of my spine and went all the way across my body and come out the side and pinned me for 20 minutes. Tell me God wasn't in the mist. Amen. Uh, the ambulance, paramedics, people standing around saying that I wouldn't make it. And I had a piece about me like it was going to be all right. At one point I asked them if it was all right if I took a nap. <laughs> and they said, are you, going, are, you, are you sure you don't, you don't feel like you lose consciousness? And I said, no, I'm just, this is not much of a ride. And I'd sort of like to sleep through it. Tell me God wasn't there. After this experience and after the love of people in this church and my family, my wife's been there the whole time, after all these things, 
Uh, and even before, you'll have a better chance to convince me there's no Greenville, Tennessee than that there is no God. Hmm. I'm telling you right now, church, it's not nothing that I had done before. Uh, my, my, my eternity before the tractor sphere, I'd done determine it's going to be in heaven. But that peace that the Lord gave me through all that, you can't put a price on it. The paramedics, the, the flight, the flight and, uh, nurses and flight surgeons and, and all the, the wonderful people up at the hospital, they can only do so much. But when a surgeon looks at your wife and tells you that you shouldn't be alive, you take God out of it and it don't make sense. It's God. It has to be God. If you don't have him in your life, I'm telling you right now, don't be thinking about going home because it might not never come. If you don't have it in your, in your heart that it's settled in your heart that heaven will be your home, listen, I heard the guy say, watch out, and next thing I know, it's over. When I reached around and I realized that, spine, that spirit was through my back, I looked up and told him, I said, I'm, I'm not going to make it through this. I'm done. When I called Tim and I asked him to pray, it wasn't pray, Tim, pray for my salvation. It was Tim, pray that the Lord help me through this, and if not, take care of my family. I had God on my side the whole time, uh, and I don't, know what, I don't know exactly why. Maybe it was to give me a testimony, and if that was a testimony in the love and uh, about the love and things that I've seen since then, it's worth it. But if I can get anything through to anybody's head this morning is how great God is, prayers work, and don't take anything for granted. Amen. There's nothing in this life down here promised. It can be over in a second. I didn't have time to make things right. I didn't have time to, to uh, ask forgiveness and all these things before it happened. But thankfully, it settled in my heart. Everything's all right. Because when you're going through that much pain, people say, I don't see how you stood. I said, I didn't. It was the Lord. You cannot make me, you cannot convince me that God wasn't there in the midst. Mm -hmm. But I want, I want to thank you for your prayers. And, and I'm not one to sit in the house. I've watched more TV in the last two weeks <laughs> and, than I have in my whole life. Um, I mean, there's only so many times Tim will continue to answer his phone and listen to me aggravate him. <laughs> but, you know, and I've, I've had to hear about him being so overworked this week. But, <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, but... Uh, You're done, right? You're done? <laughs> Try. <laughs> I, I, I would... You know, I mean, I, was, I stuck up her for a while. You knew it was coming. Yeah, I know. I, know. I would. I'm so thankful for each and every one of you. Uh, my wife, when she jumped on Facebook and, and asked everybody to pray, uh, and uh, Tim started calling people, and, and my mom, and, and everybody started calling people to pray, that's what got me through it. Yeah. Uh, that's what made the peace. God might have still brought me through it, but it wouldn't have been a peaceful thing uh, without your prayers, and I'm thankful for it. You can't put price on that. I, I just want you to know I really appreciate you, and I love you this morning. Amen. That's good.